Okay, we're going to now learn how to say red in Farsi. Red is Qermez, Qermez. But let's tackle something else first to kind of make the uh, things a little easier for us down the road. Okay, look at this thing right there. All these three letters, all of them sound like a Z. 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 Sounds like a Z. Sounds like a Z. So you say, why, this is crazy. Why write it three different ways? Remember I said that sometimes some words come from another language and they just go ahead and keep the spelling and shape that they appear in their language? So that's one of the reasons, but we don't want to get too caught up on that. Let's just learn that all these three sound exactly like a Z, like the letter Z. Now, it, when I want to say which one of these to use, let's just say we're having a conversation and you ask me which one of these Z's I use for Qermes, for red, I say I use Z. Now, if I had told you to use Zat, that's the one you would have used. If I had said Zal, that's the one you would have used. So remember that boring ABCD stuff, uh, LFP stuff we learned, and I said some of these sounds really are crazy? That's one reason. Okay, while we're at it, let's tackle another one. Uh, In English, you can kind of show it by GH. These two letters are, both of them, at least in Farsi, pronounced the same way, sound the same, and both of them sound like te. Now, if you ask me, well, which one of these should I use? Uh, if I said qain, this is the one you would use. If I said qaf, that's the one you would use. So again, that's uh, one of the things that we want to get out of the way. That's why it's important to know the uh, Aleph Ba, the alphabet with those sounds. This way it'll come in handy down the road for something like this. Okay, let's just go back to our word. Qermez. That's Q. So we used Qaf. R. Just like R. M. Just like M. And Z. Just like Z. Qermez. And that's what it looks like. And if I were to write it down again, Sorry about the light there. Kermes. Kermes. And since we are new at this, I'll put these lines so that you know that's going to sound like a kre. And I'm going to put this uh, line so that you know that it's going to sound like a me. Kermes. But when you, if you were to look at it in a book, that's exactly what it's going to look like. No lines above, below, none of that. Kermes is red.